I'm gonna pull up study to the side She keep coming at me every day and night When I left in my life, started feeling right Yeah, yeah, ooh These days I do anything I like Grind it for this life every day and night When I left, I told them I would get it right Yeah, yeah, break bread and break hearts Don't get me started now, break up to break Yo, what's going on with your YouTube gentlemen? Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And what we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the Air Jordan 1 Palominos Dark Mochas, whatever you want to call these things. First of all, I just want to say is that this is actually a pretty clean looking shoe. These are actually pretty fire. Like, I like these things quite a bit. Now, a lot of people are probably going to do a comparison of the Air Jordan 1 Mochas and the Palominos, which I can definitely see why, you know, it has a little very similar color. Well, this is new buck, but you know, this is more like a dark mocha, you know, the, the brown is a little different, except that this is more of a bread colorway and this is more of a black toe colorway or color blocking, I should say. So overall, this is probably one of the GOATs, probably one of the best non-OG colorway Air Jordan ones of all time. These are pretty freaking nice too, man. Like these things would have been going crazy if these things released probably about two years ago. And you know what, I think these things are still gonna sell out. I think people are still gonna like these things. You know, it's a great fall shoe. It might not go for anything crazy on the resale market, you know, just because like Air Jordan ones, you know, they really don't resell like that anymore. Like, you know, perfect example is the UNC toes. After I saw those things kind of like going to like nothing, I don't see the resale price on these things going anything high. I'll be super surprised if they do. Unless these things are a little bit more limited or whatever, but it seems like there's gonna be a lot of pairs. You're probably still gonna put at least a little bit of footwork in, you know, don't expect to, you know, walk into your stores or these sit on shelves. I think these things are still gonna sell out, but they're not gonna go for anything crazy, you know? So if you did end up taking an L, they're probably gonna go for like the same as the UNC toes, maybe like, even maybe even a little bit less. They are set to re release on September 2nd. A great fall shoe, again, great color blocking. And you know what, the material wise is actually okay. It's pretty nice, you know, soft leather here on the side, nothing crazy, none of that premium tumble tumble. Even the new buck here is actually pretty nice. And the color blocking, like I said, it's always pretty nice. The only people complain about mainly is that yellow tag right here, but it's more of a gold Nike tag. So you guys see, you got the gold plate here, the Palominos with the gold and the brown. I feel it, man. I dig these things. These things are a go for me. This is definitely a must cop. My opinion, these are probably one of the best Air Jordan ones to release in 2023. But hey, let's just go ahead. Let's get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things. And I must say, they nice. It does come with a different color box. You guys see it has an all black box and it has this gold logo here on the top of the box and also on the side too as well. All right, let's take a look at the material guys. As you guys can see, got the new buck material here on the toe box, that mocha colorway here. And it's like, not premium, nothing crazy, but nice and soft. Move on to the leather panels here on the side. Again, none of that tumble tumbled, more just a smooth synthetic leather here on the top, on the side panels and on the toe box. So nothing special, but nothing crazy, but still pretty nice. Got the mocha colorway Nike swoosh here on the side, even on the heels here as well, and even on the ankle collar. And you do have that black Air Jordan 1 wing logo here on the side of the heels. This is more of a bread color blocking. This is like a bread color blocking for like a mocha colorway. Now it does already lace up on the first eyelids here, that black flat rope laces. And also on the tongue here, you got that not black nylon tongue. And then on top of the tongue, you do have that gold Nike Air, Nike Swoosh logo here on the top of the tag. What it looks like, I don't see any extra set of laces, so that might be it. So if you guys wanna switch it out to like a mocha colorway lace or a white lace, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and just wear black. Got the nylon black sock liner inside. It does have a black insole inside and you do have that gold 
Nike Air logo inside the insole. And it does have that white creamy midsole stitching all the way through the midsole. And of course you have that iconic Air Jordan 1 outsole and that mocha brown colorway. Got that embossed Nike logo in the middle of the soles. And of course that mocha color outsole. Now you guys don't want to get your soles all nasty and dirty. So you guys want to make sure you guys get on that drip grip use my discount code jumperman10 it is the best sole protector on the market today no slippage no tears multiple wears i'm wearing these i got sold at a sneaker event walked around all day and it's still goods to go so guys make sure you guys get on that drip grip use my discount code jumperman10 hey so there you guys have it guys these are the air jordan one palominos and again i'll say this is probably one of my top Air Jordan ones that came out so far in 2023. I actually really like this colorway. You know, it's a great colorway for fall season, even in you know winter, summer season. You can wear these with a lot of things, especially if you want to wear some Travis Scott merch. I already see, I can already see it. Especially how, remember when the Mochas first came out, the Mocha Air Jordan one Mochas. Everyone was wearing the Travis Scott merch with the Mochas, or you can wear it with anything. You know, really, uh, brown and Mocha colorways. It's, really in right now so this is actually now i'm actually really surprised that these are not that crazy hyped up like say like a unc toes or something you know the unc toes was kind of hype but not too hyped up but still was pretty decent i just think that we're at that time now with air jordan ones it's just not the trend i mean it's still a staple don't get me wrong it's still a staple it's still a very covenant shoe it's probably one of the best Air Jordan 1 models to come out. People still love Air Jordan 1s. It's just not as trendy as it used to be. And with that being said, you already know, trends come and go, it's all good. I still love my Air Jordan 1s. I'm sure a lot of people love the Air Jordan 1. So for people that love Air Jordan 1s, we love it, you know? We love it that these things are gonna be easy. They're not that crazy hype. We can just kinda like not pay cra crazy resale price either. We can just go into the store, put a little bit of footwork in, should be able to get your pair with no problem. Now, with that being said, these are Air Jordan ones. They fit about true to size. You know, go for whatever your Air Jordan Air Jordan one sizing is. Me, I usually go about true to size. Fits just fine. And again, with Air Jordan ones, they look the best in jeans. They look great with joggers, pants, even with shorts and you know socks and all that. Looks great all around. You know, I love Air Jordan ones. I think they look the best on feet with anything. But resale wise, like I said, man, it's. I don't think these things are gonna be going for that crazy amount. You know, like maybe a little bit over retail, you know, after people take L's, you know, and they don't really wanna go, you know, people are willing to spend 220, 200 or something like that. You know, you maybe make a little bit of lunch money. Again, we're in that day and age now where a lot of shoes nowadays, especially if it being a GR, it's not gonna go for a lot. Now they're saying these things are going to be about 150,000 pairs on sneakers on release day. We'll have to wait and see because 150,000, that's a decent amount. I mean, it's not a lot, a lot, but it's actually a pretty decent amount. But there's still gonna be some L's, there's still gonna be some people that strike out. But I think as long as you put some footwork in for, you know, in-store raffles and, you know, going some, you know, raffles here and there, don't get me wrong, some people might still end up taking L's, but at least the resale is not gonna be that crazy. So if you really want these things, try to get them. Shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys let me know, are you guys planning on copping the Air Jordan 1 Palomino Dark Mochas? Like I said, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best Air Jordan 1s to come out. I love them. I like them. I can't wait to cop them, and I, I want to get a personal pair. I'm probably going to double up. It's probably double up worthy enough to get these things, okay? So, because I have two pairs of the Mocha 1s. I got, you know, and I plan on trying to get two pairs of these things as well. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at German Chris on IG, sometime on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm German Chris. Peace.